This is Algebra Lesson 3.3. Here's your warm-up that will be on Schoology. And our objectives today are to explore time and elevation and time and distance relationships and describe um, how a graph looks based on uh, the location of the person. So in example A, we have um, an xy axis here about walk, um, describing walking over a bridge relating time and seconds to the elevation in feet. So down here it's already labeled as time and seconds, but since the y-axis is the elevation, we need to label that on here. Um, it's a little difficult for me to write sideways, so elevation. All right, now we're gonna watch this video and we're gonna try and graph uh, Dan's elevation as it relates to time. Uh, we're gonna watch it a couple times and then assume the lowest part of the bridge is 35 feet high. So that's the shortest part of the bridge. Here we go. Okay, now before we show the answer, um, if you noticed, the man paused at about six or seven seconds on the bridge, and that was at his highest elevation. So he's going up until he gets to about six or seven seconds, and he reaches his highest point, and he stands still, so the elevation is not changing, um, and then he become, starts to come down. So we can see the answer here. Starting at approximately 35 feet off the ground, he's going up. At six or seven feet, you can see that it's it's the straight. He's not changing his height at all. It does seem to go up a little bit more from there, and then he begins his walk down. So you can see here, I've just copied kind of that graph where it started. Oops, I should have had a little bit higher at 35 feet. Uh, went up, and then at about the six or seven second mark, he kind of paused, and he was set the same elevation for about a second, second and a half and then he became um, started to come down. Uh, now it kind of looks like that the the elevation of the bridge is the same at the start and the end, um, but I can't determine that for sure. Okay, so we're gonna wa watch another video. This one is called Walking Down the Stairs. Um, we wanna label our X and Y axis always. So we've got time in seconds here. This would be the height or the elevation in feet again. And then this is where the title goes. So this walking down the stairs would go right here. And then here would be the elevation in feet. It's just hard for me to write sideways. So we'll pull up that video and watch that one. So again, we're comparing time and elevation. Now if we pause this for a second, when the man was walking up top here, he was at the same elevation for a couple seconds, became uh, started coming down, and then on this landing he was at the same elevation for a couple seconds, came down, again at the same elevation here for not as long, and then came down to the ground level. So it's almost three seconds here 
uh, when he's at that same elevation before he starts to descend. And then he reaches that platform at five seconds and then begins to descend again a little bit after six seconds. So here he was up here for three seconds at the same elevation at one second here. So those points in our graph are when we have a horizontal line because time is still ticking, but the elevation is not changing. And then again, he was at that same elevation for maybe half a second, comes down to the ground level, but then if you notice, he does a little jump. And so his elevation went up a little bit at the end there. And so each time you see the horizontal line, uh, that's when he's reaching that platform and he's not changing his elevation at all. So here he's at the top of the platform, came down the stairs. Next platform came down the stairs. That small platform at the end wasn't very long. And then he was at ground level. He jumped up and then he was at a, a level higher, a little bit higher than that ground level. So here I just did a really quick sketch of that, um, but I, if I wanted to be more precise, I would have to look at the time frame. And I knew that that first, um, first platform was three seconds long, and then it was about five, five seconds to almost six or se seven seconds that he was on that second platform. And then I can't remember exactly the time frames when um, he was on the other platforms or the ground level, but you'd have to be more precise. This was just a quick sketch. All right, the next one is called Walking Down the Ladder. Again, um, at the top of your graph would be the title, so this Walking Down the Ladder would go right here. And then the elevation is what we're looking at on the y-axis, so that would be labeled here. Here it says, assume he starts at 10 feet up, and it says label in one foot increments. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. 10 is right at the top. So I'm assuming that he's gonna be coming down the ladder. So let's watch this next video. Okay, so he started up at the 10 foot mark and he's coming down at a pretty consistent rate. And then he stops to drink his A&W root beer. And you'd have to estimate how far off the ground that is, but that was at about the six or seven second mark. And he is then continuing at the nine second mark. So from six seconds to nine seconds, there should be a, a platform where the graph is no longer changing elevation. starting at 10, coming down at a pretty consistent rate, and then right around the six or seven second mark, we'll see that plateau there. And then at nine seconds about, he comes back down and hits ground level. So we could give that a quick sketch here as well. Started at 10, came down, and then at the six or seven second to nine second, had that plateau, and then came down again to the ground level. And then he was walking on the ground level so that was flattened out there. All right, this next one is down and then up the stairs. Um, it's the same ideas as all the others. Okay, so we'll watch it in slow-mo again. You can see he's at the top. At one second, he still is down to the second platform there. Three seconds, goes back up. Five seconds, six seconds-ish, he's around on that same level. Eight seconds, he goes back down. 
kind of jumps down, goes back up at about 11 seconds. And so here is his graph, so you can see all the platforms. So he's at the platform, comes down, he's at that ground level, goes back up. He's back up to the same level that he was at before, comes back down, and it is going based off the time. So you can see how it, at each second it is marked in there. Uh, so this one you could graph that one as well if you want to do a quick sketch. Uh, next one we're going to look at, since with all these videos are kind of the same, we're going to look at the graph that's already given and we're going to describe what's happening. So in this case, um, you can see that it starts at zero seconds and then um, in this case we're not doing elevation but um, distance that we're walking from a motion sensor so that you have that motion sensor set up where you are standing. So this would be the distance away from the motion sensor. So if I'm going to label that. I'm just going to grab a pen here. Distance from sensor. And then you could title the graph as um, walking if you wanted to. And then we're going to just describe what happens at each step. So at zero seconds, we start at the sensor and then we walk away from the sensor because the numbers are going up. So we're walking away from the sensor at a constant speed and then it stops here and it remains at that distance away from the center, sensor. So at from 0 to 6 seconds we are walking away. So 0 to 6 seconds walking away from the sensor at a constant rate. And then from 6 seconds all the way up to 10 seconds, we're no longer walking away or towards the center. We're just standing in place. So 6 seconds to 10 seconds. We are not changing our location. So this is kind of like the elevation one, except we're not talking about going up. We're just talking about walking away from a sensor, and then at this point we're not moving at all, but time is still ticking by. And then again we're walking up, so from 10 seconds to 12 seconds, we are walking away again. Now this line seems a little bit steeper than this one, so walking away again, but faster. So the steeper the line, the faster you are going. Now in this next example, um, we have the motion sensor set up again. This time I'd like to focus on how fast we're walking, looking at the rate of change here. So from 0 to 2 seconds, we're walking towards the sensor. So we actually started farther away from the sensor this time. Um, we're walking towards it. So 0 to 2 seconds, we're going towards the center, sensor. At, now we want to look at our rate of change or our speed here. So I'm going to do a rise over run slope. So it goes down 3 over 1, down 3 over 1. So that means we're going 3 feet towards it every second. So at 3 feet per second. And then from 2 to 6 seconds, we are not moving. So not moving. So that would be 0 feet per second. We're not moving. And then from 6 seconds, um, you notice there's that, like a vertical change here. So we must have jumped quickly away from it. So at 6 seconds we jumped away from the sensor. And then again we have that no change, so from 6 to 8 seconds. We're not moving again. So that would be zero feet per second. And then you can see here we have a, we're going away from the sensor again. And so we want to look for that rate of change. So one foot up, one second over, one foot up, one second over. So that'd be one foot per second. So that's from eight to 14 seconds. 
we're walking away.